Hi, hi, very Sagittarius. How are you guys doing right now? This just popped out all of a sudden, so I'm just gonna keep it right there. But I'm gonna put my cards down for a little while. And so let's sing together. One, two, three. Happy birthday to us. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sagittarius. I wish you all the best in life, love, luck, and career. Jupiter is now in our signs. Um, I hope you're able to manifest everything that you've been dreaming of. And I really hope that from today onwards, everything that you've been dreaming of and all doors of opportunities, abundance, money, career, love, everything is going to open up to you forever and ever so that you can enjoy good life, good love, good money, and also good food. <laughs> it means a lot to me, that good food. You know, you need to be careful with the Jupiter in our sun because it has the ability to expand everything. And then I've been warned this by my friend. I think it was like two months ago. Be careful about your appetite or your, your obsession over food because Jupiter can also make you gain weight. And then Ever since Jupiter translating in our signs, I'm, I gain weight. That's true. <laughs> so careful about that, okay? Right, so let's start your reading. Okay, let's start your reading right now, Sagittarius. When is your birthday, by the way? Mine is on the 14th, so it's still coming up. But for those of you who have celebrated your birthday way before this, happy belated birthday. You rock. I love Sagittarius. I actually love doing video for Sagittarius, but... Because it's a Sagittarius season, it makes me anxious. Because it's my birthday season too, I want to know. What's up? <laughs> okay, so you have the Queen of... Oh, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. It's too much card. You have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And you also have the Justice card in reverse in here. do 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 okay good very good okay so you have the justice card queen of pentacles five and pentacles and also at the center of it you have the ace of chalices and i think like it's kind of like necessary and important for you so there is this one area in your relationship sector that you feel the equal the give and take is not mutual or it's not equal like you give a lot but then you receive so little and then you love with expectations and they're not able to deliver what you're expecting of them to deliver from you. And with this person, it was the person that you gave like tons of energies, attention, focus, obsessions towards. And now with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, like Queen of Pentacles in reverse actually means something bad because it means something, somebody who is unreliable, somebody who is untrustworthy. But I kind of, but because it's accompanied by the Justice Cut in reverse in here, who would want to want to be reliable? Who would want to be, you know, always there available for someone that doesn't give you a reciprocal love? Okay? And instead of fighting over it, instead of arguing about it, instead of complaining for it, instead of fighting for this, you're, you decided to become the Five of Pentacles. Like, no, nah, I don't think I want to do anything about it. It's like you're just shush, like all of your responsibilities towards that relationship, you're just like, no, nah, I don't think I want to do it. I'm just, I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to be pretty. Yes, I'm disappointed, but I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm just going to let rain storm the pass. I'm going to give time, time. I know that I'm going to heal. I know a lot of things are coming in my way. But when you guys do that, you have the ace of chalices in here. So day by day, slowly by slowly, that pour of cups that was trained before is suddenly filled again. You guys are filled with creativity. You guys are filled with motivation. You guys are filled with another emotional cup that you can actually share it with somebody else. It's beautiful. Let's see your challenges. Look at the challenges. <coughs> breathe, Sagittarius. Breathe. It's usually very easy to read for you. Breathe. Mm hmm. I'm having air bubble in my ear because of my sinus, so I'm <laughs> sorry if I talk too loud. Okay, so you have the Hermit card in reverse and you also have the King of Swords. Why does this King of Swords always come up in every reading? It always does. I rarely see a King of Cups, but always King of Swords has the overall challenge. And it's the same thing over and over again. Somebody who is hurt, but when they're hurt... It's either one, they have the inability to express it, or they think that by just expressing it, it doesn't 
give them any some sort of exp uh, satisfaction you know what i mean this king of swords holds like a little book of sins a little book of mistakes of a little things that you've been doing wrong towards them it's somebody who is very very resentful they're not going to do anything about it as of now they're just going to sit there be pretty but if you try to approach them if you try to poke them that they're going to poke you back with their swords and I feel like that's one of the reasons why you guys are right now the five of pentacles like now I'm not doing, gonna do anything about it now it's fine okay you also have the uh, the hermit card in reverse in here as your overall challenge you could be dealing with somebody who has the inability to look within somebody in this relationship has the inability to look within I mean a relationship is between two people right and then it's impossible that what person is a saint, has no sin, has no mistake. So this person who I'm talking about, who has the inability to look within, always blame. Like, no, nah, I'm perfect. No, nah, I'm perfect. I'm perfect. I never do anything wrong. You're the one who do, who do something wrong. They never see how they contribute to the destruction of the relationship because they feel like what they've been doing is right. This could also be somebody who did really, really shady stuff, but they feel like you deserve it. Because, again, as I said, I did this because you do that. They have the inability to look within. There's always a cause and reaction, right? Sorry. There's always a cause and reaction towards everything. And they just couldn't understand the behavior that they do that plant the seeds of you doing something that upsets them somehow. Let's see your past, Sagittarius. Like, for instance, okay. Five of Wands in reverse, the Tower card, Seven of Cups, Princess of Chalices, or Princess, sorry, Princess of Pentacles. <coughs> Five of Cups. So you were freaking out over this tower card. So this person in the past had a tower moment and you guys are kind of like freaking out about that. If you're only dealing with one person, yeah, you freaked out a bit and you were preparing some sort of a letter or something to write back to them. Like you wanted it to do that because you freaked out a bit. What is the tower card in here for? Two of Swords. The lover's card. High priestess. <laughs> yeah, there is an information that they got from you. So way, way, way back in the past. See, way, way, way back in the past, they were being the high priestess, meaning that they were distancing themselves away from you, detaching themselves. There might be a period where you felt like, why are they those say, why are they so distanced? From me, why are they so distant from me? But they were just trying to take the sense of Switzerland, trying to be neutral, not so in love, not so hateful, but they're just trying to be neutral. But then there is an information that they might be getting here about, like they could be either accusing you of cheating or something else because you have the lover's guide in here as well. And it came like a tower card for them. It just came like a tower card, and you freaked out over it with the five of cups in here. And you try to, with the princess of pentacles in here, write them a letter or explain yourself. And then when you do that, this person is lowering down their weapons a bit. This relationship, I feel like it's necessary for the tower card moment as well. Because the theme of the relationship with the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups, yes, we're talking about options. We're talking about multiple choices. But in this particular deck of mine, we're talking about a relationship that is not grounded, that is not realistic. That is so not realistic, okay? Let me get this guy on. I 
if you're dealing with oh, two people, if you're dealing with two people, person A, person B, find out something about you that makes you freaked out a bit. Like the five of cups, like, oh, no, they you know this. And then you were dealing with person A, who in the past they were being kind of like quite stubborn over you, but now they're kind of like lowering down their weapon and try to have a compromise or negotiations with you. And in the past, you guys were trying to be a bit calculative. Um, calculative meaning that you're trying to be like, okay, I give this, per this person this much, what do I get in return? If I were to be in the relationship with this person, what will I get out of it? You know what I mean? Like you're being a little bit calculative in this relationship. But it's good though. That's kind of like a realistic type of love. Like sometimes, because I, I see this tendency of fire signs doing this over and over again, falling deep without even looking ahead. And now I feel like you learned your lessons and every time there is a people, new person coming in, yet you're being very, very calculative towards them. So you don't just jump ahead with both of your feet again. So this is so weird. This is so weird. So <laughs> this is the weirdest thing ever. So you have somebody here who is 50% blindly optimistic that you would return or you would do something about this relationship. And 50% of them is also freaking out. Why are you not doing anything? Okay, so if you're dealing with one person, this person is feeling... Someday they're like, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure Sagittarius is going to be doing something about this. And then the other day you're going to be like, why is nothing happening? What the hell is happening here? Okay. And it's funny to me because when they're blindly optimistic in waiting for your effort or your actions or your call or your messages, you guys are sheltering away from them. You're like, no, I don't want to deal anything with you. But then when they're freaking out, you guys are waiting too with the Princess of Wands in here. This relationship has become too much of a burden with you with the Ten of Wands in here and nobody is willing to take the responsibilities or actions that is needed to take to be taken. If you're dealing with two people, you know, there's somebody, person A, the person who you were being very calculative towards, the person who um, try to compromise or negotiate about something towards you, they're blindly optimistic that you're going to return. They're blindly optimistic that you're going to be, like, they're very, very optimistic about it. They're very positive that you're going to do something about it because they feel like it's their time to reap their return of investment. But from them, you're like, mm, I don't want to deal with you. No, I don't want to deal with you, okay? And then the other person who discovered something was the tower and you freaked out in the past, this person is having like a lot of anxieties, uh, midnight episodes, they could be depressed as well. You guys are kind of like waiting for them in here. What's happening in the future? Okay, get it. Well, yeah. Okay. I feel like in the future, Sagittarius, you're going to get your wish fulfillment. I mean, this person would then come around again with the full card in here, although they're kind of like quite indecisive. Is it actually what I'm supposed to be doing or is it not? But they are more prone or they, are more, they have the tendency to be much more of the full card, wanting to take that giant leap of faith again with you. Okay, so they wanted to do that. This person went through a lot, I mean, with the Tower card here and the Nine of Swords and then after that, the Fool card, they went through a lot. They were blindly optimistic that you guys were doing, going to do something about it, but you didn't. But you didn't if you're only dealing with one person, but this person is going to make a comeback or return in here. 25% um, of them is still indecisive, but they are following their guts because they just couldn't 
stand the nanosaurs that they're dealing with. Like, it's very hard for them to be blindly optimistic this today and then wondering what is going on tomorrow. So they're like, you know what, fuck it, I don't want to be curious about it. I'm just going to do it ahead and do it. And if you're only dealing with one person, I feel like what, you, what matters for you right now is emotional stability. You know what I mean? What matters for you right now is something that is less dramatic, something that makes you feel victorious, something that makes you feel winning because you have the two of pentacles and the knight of wands in here. So if it's the full card, if it's like a renewal, you might want to be like the nine of wands in, in our prepositions in the future. Like you, you're like, no, I don't think I want to do it right now. I need a heal. You know, like I don't want to get too serious, serious, rolling in the deep Adele kind of, deep type of relationship if you can follow me because you have the two of pentacles you just want to have something that is lighthearted and carefree you just want to get to know this person you just want to live the moment you just want to give time time you're trusting the process right now and that's what you're focusing right now okay in other areas of your life though when it comes to money achievement and everything like that it's looking good and i feel like that's one of the reasons why you just want to take to be very very chill when it comes to the relationship sector because yeah, you don't want to fall into the same pit again, so you're like that. If you're dealing with two people, this person that is blindly optimistic towards you is going to be super duper indecisive. Like, what the hell am I going to do? Like, why is this person is not approaching me yet? You guys are the two of pentacles, so you're stretching in the limit, boundaries, whether should I do it or whether should I not. If I do it with this relationship, be heavy again or will this relationship be light and hard and carefree that i wanted like you're kind of like mm, mm, mm. and then you have person b somebody who, from the past who discovered something about you they're kind of like coming back in but i don't feel like you would want that because they're coming in like i came in like a racquetball, ball like with parachute without parachutes on and you're freaking out about it you just want something that is just super chill like super super chill okay but every areas of your life is looking good though, Sagittarius. Okay? So I really hope that you guys enjoy my reading, Sagittarius. And happy birthday once again. I hope you have a great week ahead. Bye-bye.